today I'm putting a Distech controller on a chill water system. The chill water pump contactor has historically been controlled by the chiller via this handoff auto switch. So as long as the auto function is depressed, the chiller can send voltage to this relay to enable the pumps and the ISO valve. The new Distech controller is gonna have pump control in parallel with the chiller. So the chiller will still be tied into the auto function, but I've also added this relay so that the plant controller can bring on the pumps and open the ISO valves even when the chiller is not running. When I added the relay, I had to be careful where I tied it in because I did not want to bypass the off function. The off function still needs to kill everything in case they need to turn the pump off for some emergency or they need to work on it. So I tied my relay in parallel with the chiller contact and the way it works is it's taking 120 volts from the breaker. The breaker comes with this fuse and this fuse feeds the chiller contact which eventually comes to auto. It also feeds my relay contact which again also comes to auto. From the auto terminal, it can be connected with the common terminal. Anytime the auto button is depressed, it will be connected with the common terminal. The common terminal comes down to the relay, which will move the ISO valve and enable the pump. The hand function also gets 120 volts constant from the fuse. So if you press hand, hand will be connected with common and common is connected with the relay and it enables the pump and the ISO valve, even if the chiller is not running. So if you press hand, hand will be connected with common, auto will not. If you press auto, auto will be connected with common, hand will not. If you press off, nothing is connected with anything else. Everything is disconnected. So it was very important that I tie my relay in in such a way that I did not bypass the off function. Here we are at the train chiller. I wanted to show you what the contacts, the pump control contacts look like. This chiller needs work. It's got alarms all the time. But the pump contacts are here. It's terminals eight and nine on terminal block four. So the top terminal has 120 volts constant from the breaker. And when the chiller wants to run, it will enable its pump by making the dry contact and sending the 120 volts back to the auto terminal of the handoff auto switch. If the auto terminal is depressed, it will connect with the common terminal and send that voltage to the relay, which will trigger the ISO valve, which will trigger the pump contactor. We've also added a dry contact chiller start stop on uh, terminals three and four. Uh, they used to just have a jumper there. We've got it jumped until we get the um, Distech controller up and running. Uh, they used to be controlled by the COM cards, which are here, but we've opted to simplify things with uh, dry contact remote enable. So here's what it looks like on paper. 120 volts comes from the breaker and is passed to both the hand selection and also to the chiller pump contact. So the chiller when uh, it begins to run, it'll call for its own pumps. It'll make that dry contact, which puts 120 volts over to the auto selection, the auto terminal. So if auto is depressed on the handoff auto, auto will be connected with common. Common is connected with the relay that does the ISO valve. And when the ISO valve has rotated all the way open, it will trigger the pump contactor. If you want to run it in hand, you've got 120 volts waiting at hand. So if hand is depressed, hand will be connected with common rather than auto. And common will do the same thing here. Uh, the ISO valve relay does the ISO valve and then the pump comes on. So the bypass relay that I put in needs to um, be dependent on the off. Right, so if you depress off, none of this is connected and we don't want the pumps to run at all. We want off to actually work. So I tied in, I got the 120 from the breaker, which was 
right there nearby in that same enclosure. Uh, I put my relay in and the dry contact for the relay is connected to the auto so that if auto is depressed it'll be connected with the common and the sequence is the same. And that way all the selections on the handoff auto still work as they should.